Hey there, everybody. This is Rex Roy here, back with another game of tutorial. All right, so let's go ahead and start the story off by getting this out of the way here. All right, and as you can see, uh, here is my game that I've been working on for about a week and a half now. Um, anyway, this is not what I wanted to show you. What I do want to show you is what I found out recently. Um, it's it's really cool, and I just thought you know I had to share it with you guys. Um, so anyway. Uh, basically, what I found was a more easy and more efficient way to switch between rooms in your standard platformer game. And this tutorial is, I, I think, actually better than the last tutorial. And uh, I, I really like this way better, and I'm thinking I'm going to actually use this way from now on. I really like it. It works great. And, uh, yeah. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and just start off here um, with the creation code, I guess. All right, so um, basically... L unlike last time um, in my last room switching, tr uh, switching tutorial, sorry, um, basically you had to create a whole bunch of different objects, um, like basically exit objects, and you would just layer them on the sides or top or bottom or whatever of your room, and you would right click on them and give them a creation code, and which is saying like when the player collides or whatever uh, with that certain block, um, if it's on this side or whatever, then the player would collide with it and end up on the next side of the other room. Um, but instead of that, um, what, what I've done here, or what I've found, rather, and then implemented uh, here, is um, basically a way to do that, but in a creation code, and in a little bit more simpler way. Alright, so uh, let me go ahead and go over this really quick, and I will have this code in the description box, so you, uh, you don't have to worry about that. Um, am I in room? Okay, I'm in room zero. I thought I was in room one really quick, because I was highlighted. Alright, so basically, uh, the code I have here basically says, um, well, basically gives... Uh, uh, coordinates over here, north, south, east, and west. And um, let me go ahead and explain this really quick. Um, this part I don't really want to go over because you don't really need to. Um, uh, and I prefer to keep the tutorial pretty short. So yeah, I'll just tell you guys pretty much what's necessary. All right. So basically, um, the north is obviously uh, what it is, um, or what it sounds like rather. Um, it is going up. The south is going down. And um, the east is going basically to the right, and the west is going to the left. And so basically what I've done here is um, I've created several rooms, as you could see. And not really because the grid's on. But um, basically I'm in room zero right now. All right, so in room zero, oh and also I've checked uh, the room persistent. You must check the room persistent. Um, at least I believe you have to check all the rooms persistent. But uh, anyway. Uh, in the creation code here, uh, basically, the north, south, east, and west is what you're going to be working with um, in the creation code for the rooms. All right, so currently I'm in room zero, and basically when my player exits room zero or basically goes off the room, out of the room, um, when he's in the right position or whatever, um, I want him to go ahead and end up at the beginning of room one. So basically like right here or if he jumps or, you know, uh, basically in this point somewhere. All right, from this point. All right, so basically to do that, um, all I've done is on the east, uh, basically part of this code or whatever, um, instead of putting east equals negative one, um, I put room one. So basically what the negative ones are for is it's just saying you're not, this is not where you're going. Um, so yeah, the, uh, the room one is showing where you are going. So, yeah, that, that is a little bit confusing, but I'll, you'll see a little bit more once I uh, start to get into the other rooms and such. All right, so now let's go ahead and go to uh, room one here. Uh, that is not room one. Boom, boom, boom. All right, here we are. All right, so uh, room one, as you can see, persistent again, uh, creation code. All right, now in room one, notice we have uh, two different um, coordinates here, I guess, uh, east and west. And they both have uh, different rooms, uh, I guess, um, in them, instead of these negative ones here. All right, so ba basically uh, what this is saying is, let me go ahead and shrink this down a bit, uh, right about uh, right about there. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Windows 7, thank you for doing what I don't want you to do. Uh, I love technology. All right, so anyway. Um, as you can see here, uh, we have a north and a south, which is basically up and down. And they're both negative ones, saying that you're obviously not going to go up and down. Um, so basically, all I have here is the east and west. T uh, so basically, this is saying when you collide or whatever with the end of this uh, room here, uh, from the east, um, you're going to go somewhere. 
uh, because I have here room two instead of a negative one. If I had a negative one, then that would mean you wouldn't go anywhere. You'd just pretty much fall off the room. Um, so, but I do have a room two here. So basically when you go out of the uh, room here um, to the uh, east of the room, I guess, or to the right of the room, you're going to go ahead and end up at the beginning of room two, um, which is basically um, d d d d right here. All right, and there we are. And when you go to the west of the room, uh, you're going to end up at back at um, room... Wait, hang on. We are at... What room are we at anyway? Oh, we're at room one? Okay. I keep getting confused because the uh, highlight's here. Go ahead and do that. All right, so and when you go to the uh, west of the room, uh, you're going to go ahead and end back up at room zero right here, where you basically uh, came in at or out at, whichever one. All right, and so, yeah, that's pretty much that code. And this it's the it's same for um, pretty much every single room here. Uh, as you can see, it's the same here. Uh, when you go east, so basically when you go in here, you're going to end up at uh, the beginning of room three. And the same goes for uh, west. You're, well, you're going to end up at room one, which is the previous room here. All right, and do, 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 room four. And it basically just keeps going on. Um, oh, wrong room, actually. Um, all right. So actually notice here... Um, I put a south, which is basically down, and w so basically when you fall down this hole here, uh, you're going to end up in room four, and you're just going to uh, fall from here, and then go boom, and then so on and so on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there are some more things here that I need to go over really quick um, for this story to work. You are going to need to have a, um, a obj underscore location. Um, object with nothing in it, just just name it OBJ location. Don't do anything to it. Just make sure it's uh, visible, I guess. Or you don't even have to do that. Um, but just create a new object named OBJ location, and you're you're fine. All right. And um, you also need to do. Um, let me see here. No. Um, I believe that's. Oh no no no, that's not it. All right. You also need to add a outside of room. And basically, there's just this big long code uh, setting the coordinates for all those south and norths and east and wests and all those different things, uh, basically for the uh, room codes to work. And uh, that's pretty much it, actually. Uh, there's nothing else besides that. Um, all this other stuff you see here is just uh, basically it for uh, stuff in my game, I guess. Um, <coughs> oh, excuse me. And my throat was going really weird right there. Okay, but anyway, uh, yeah. So basically, pretty, pr pr pretty much. I apologize for stuttering so much. I have no idea what that is. But uh, anyway, you just need to have the outside of room, and I'll put this code in the description box. And the um, OBJ location. All right, and the rooms with their room codes. And make sure to check the rooms persistent, or else this won't work. Um, so yeah, and oh, and also, um, you don't want to put the, um, the, uh, OBJ, uh, location in the room. Uh, just keep it as it is in here, and, um, you should be fine. Um, yeah, so just basically keep it out of the room, and you'll be okay. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, basically, I guess there's no more. So this has kind of been, I guess, another preview of the game I've been working on, which still doesn't have a title or story, or anything of the sort. It's just kind of a random project uh, for any of you who are wondering. And yeah, this has been another tutorial by Rexfury. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment uh, with any questions or just anything you think about uh, regarding the video, or maybe even not regarding the video. <laughs> um, just pretty much whatever. And uh, you can also send me a personal message if you have a question on this tutorial or any others. And feel free to uh, subscribe as well for upcoming videos on... Um, I mean, it, nah, <laughs> upcoming videos on, well, a whole bunch of stuff. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys are having a great day, and hope this tutorial helped you above all else. And I will see you guys next video. All right, guys. So, uh, really quick, I forgot to show you guys the end result of this tutorial. So, let me go ahead and uh, minimize this here. All right. So, as you can see, we have our little player right there. All right. And I'm just walking or sliding or scooting, whatever you want to call that. And uh, really quick, um, before I go in here, I just want to uh, let you guys know of a nifty effect um, that this tutorial pretty much uh, pulls off here. Um, basically, w I don't necessarily go to the uh, next room as soon as I go out of the room. Um, I actually have some time to you know, kind of go a little bit out of that. 
Um, so that's that's really nice, I thought. Um, basically, it's like you actually are kind of going to the next room, um, as you can see there. So you don't totally just, as soon as you hit the uh, rim of the room, go out. You have to kind of go, you know, basically actually go to the next room. So that was really nice. Um, and basically, you go where you uh, began, and you can jump into the next room. And don't pay attention, ah, attention to that jumping and stopping thing. That's, <coughs> oh, excuse me, just a, a little glitch with my controls that I have set up for my player. And, uh, yeah. So this has been Rex Furry with a game tutorial, as I just said, or another game tutorial rather. And uh, yeah, hope this tutorial helped you. And uh, yeah, I guess I will see you guys next video, as I also already said. <laughs>